Now to a CNN exclusive, CNN's Kristen Fisher with a story on a tiny but mighty discovery in outer space. Go, SpaceX, go out. Sitting on top of this SpaceX rocket when it launched in January was the first surgical robot bound for outer space. So Mira is a, a small surgical robot. Mira, made by a company called Virtual Incision, arrived at the International Space Station in February, and on Saturday, it did something that's never been done before. Saturday was the first time that a surgical robot in space was controlled by surgeons on Earth to perform simulated surgical activities. Virtual Incision provided CNN with exclusive video as six surgeons at the company's headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska, took turns operating the robot after it was powered up by NASA astronauts roughly 250 miles above. The adrenaline was pumping and, you know, I could feel my, my heart pounding. Um, it, was, uh, it was really exhilarating, but at the same time, it, it, once I saw that you know, robotic device doing the things that I'm used to it doing, uh, settled down. Dr. Michael Jobst says he's already performed 15 surgeries with Mira during clinical trials on human patients here on Earth, but he's never had to contend with zero gravity or a time delay of about half a second. A split second or you know, a half a second uh, is gonna be significant. So uh, th this was a big challenge. You can see a left hand with a grasper and a right hand with a pair of scissors. And we use rubber bands here to simulate surgical tissue. So you could think of those rubber bands as perhaps, you know, blood vessels or tendons or other connective tissue that has elasticity. So we're able to, you know, grab hold of uh, the rubber bands and then take the scissors and just basically to cut them. All right, I'm going for it. Now, in addition to someday performing remote surgeries on people in space, they also want to use this type of technology here on Earth in places where it might not be too easy to find a surgeon. We'll think places like really remote rural areas or maybe even war zones. Really significant development. Thanks for that exclusive report.